Husky Stadium in Seattle overlooking Lake Washington. More than 70,000 here this afternoon. Washington has won the toss and deferred, so Arizona State will receive to start this ball game in the 1995 season. Chris Hopkins and Terry Battle are deep for Arizona State, and kicking off for Washington will be John Wales. John Wales, a veteran. Not a bad leg, not an overwhelming leg, but a pretty good one. This should be interesting. Washington last year, 7-4. Arizona State, 3-8. Its worst season in a long time. Put a brand new turf in here as part of the new beginning. Artificial surface was put down in June. Washington has practiced on it all the way through two days. Head coach Jim Lambright, they call him the Prince of Purple. Took over for Don James. They love him here. And this place is rocking. A new beginning. Did I say not overwhelming? The adrenaline flow was tremendous. He kicked that one into the temporary stands behind the end zone. So we'll get our first look at Jake Plummer, the quarterback. He started the last two years, mature, smart, very agile, great escapability. Bruce Snyder said this is Jake's team now, and he has to take his game to the next level. We'll see today if, in fact, he does. He's 6'2", 192 pounds out of Boise, Idaho. He is a junior. And they're in a hurry to get it going. First down, Sun Devils. Plummer with time across the middle, incomplete. It was intended for Keith Poole. Take a look at the Chili's starting lineup, Arizona State's backs and receivers. There's a look at Keith Poole. He led the Pac-10 in yards per catch last year. You always heard about J.J. Stokes, Kashawn Johnson, and Richard Dice. He's a good one. And, of course, Juan Roque, ASU's best offensive lineman, one of the best tackles in the United States. And if you see those weights, folks, they are big and strong. Hopkins left side, absolutely nothing. Jensen and Aliaga were there to meet him in a hurry, along with Deke Devers. Defensively for Washington, and this is an active defense, Stephen Hoffman, he moved from nose tackle to defensive tackle. He has to stay low. He's 6'6", 270, leaves that front three. The linebackers are very, very active. So that's a good combo in the front seven. Third down and 10. Plummer with pressure. He's sacked. Stephen Hoffman. He got help from Jason Chork. But it was Hoffman that got there first. See Chorak there with big Roque. Roque gets his ankle. Rolled on right there. That's going to be a problem. Lance Anderson will come on now to punt for the Sun Devils. Leon Neal is deep for Washington. It's a high spiraling kick, but very short. Neal will take it at the 44-yard line, and Washington will have great field position after that 28-yard punt. So defensively, Washington sets things up for the offense, and when they have a short punt like that, and you start the game in the opposition's territory, it's a short field, and Brian, it's like running downhill. Tim, that's exactly what Lambright was hoping for when he passed the kickoff off. Here's a look at Damon Heward. We talked about him earlier, a starter for three straight years, ranks with Warren Moon on the all-time passing chart, actually tied with Warren, with nearly 4,000 yards here at Washington. And again, they come out in a hurry. This is Neal. Bounces off tacklers down inside the 40. 
Tackle made by Mitchell Freeman. Chile's starting lineup, Washington's backs and receivers. There's Leon Neal. He was the ball carrier. Prior to this game, Neal had 19 career appearances. I guess the biggest question mark is at tailback with Napoleon Kaufman gone. They're the rest of the starters. Those are the skilled people, Thomas Janowski, Coleman, and Ernie Conwell. He's huge, 6'3", 240-pound senior. Second down and three. Neal, right side. Good pursuit this time by the Sun Devils. Mitchell Friedman again was there along with Scott Vonderahi. Vonderahi, a transfer from Iowa. That'll be enough for the first down, so they'll move the chains. Offensively for Washington, there's a look at Bob Sapp. He's 6'5", 285, very gregarious, talented tackle, but on the field, don't mess with him. First down out of the shotgun goes Hewitt. His first pass. Almost picked off. Mitchell Friedman again got his hands on it. It was intended for Conwell. Friedman already with two tackles. He almost had the pick. Take a look at the defensive line for Arizona State so far. They've been backed up as you look at Mitchell Friedman. His defensive line's pretty active, but it is one of the question marks here. It's a talented but inexperienced group. Crawford reminds me a lot of Shante Carver, who was a sack leader. Here's Justin Dragu. We'll tell you his story. He's a sixth-year senior. He is a terrific story. Neal on second down and 10. Gets eight to the 25. Finally tripped up by Lee Cole. Neal, three carries, 19 yards already. And Napoleon Kaufman is gone. He rewrote the record books over the last four years. It will probably take a couple of guys to fill his shoes, but Leon Neal, they're very high on him. Defensive backs, Simmons, Simmons, Friedman, and Cole, Mitchell Freeman. He's tired of hearing about Lawyer Malone. Coaches had to tone him down this week in practice. He was hurting his own teammates. Heward on the waggle. No, Brian, I've got to believe that was a broken play. The ball was supposed to be running off the left side. The running back ran through, didn't get the ball. Not sure you want Damon Heward, your quarterback, running this early in the season down in this part of the field. You know, now they're in the red zone. They ran the ball down the field to get there. Look for a pass in this situation. First down, Washington. Out of the shotgun. Heward with time throws a strike. That pass was perfectly thrown. They'll move the chains again. West Virginia Purdue here. It's second down and two. Washington knocking at the door down inside the 15 to the 10-yard line. Justin Dragoo makes the tackle there on Neal. And it is a first down for Washington. 23-year-old Justin Dragoo. He is a six-year player. Played in only 17 games in five years. He has had five knee operations. He's had shoulder surgery, a pin in his ankle, torn pectoral muscles. He was named the outstanding student in the School of Business and kept fighting back perseverance. Here he is. He petitioned the NCAA, and he's back. Jason Reynolds. On the stop. Hewitt actually bobbled that ball away from the exchange. Great story, Brian. Justin Dragu talked to his parents yesterday. They're so proud. He petitioned the NCAA for that sixth year and got it. And you know, his parents wanted him to sit down. Dragu winked us eye and said, no, I got to do it, Dad. Hewitt to the corner. Incomplete. It was intended for Freddie Coleman, and he should have had it. That ball was well thrown. Coleman was absolutely wide open. 
Irving Fryer always said, hardest pass to catch. Here's another look at it. It's a great job of protection up front. Throws the ball, rifles it out there at flat, wide open. Hard to catch. This drive so far, nine plays from the Arizona State 44 is where it started after a very short punt. It's now third down and 10 for Hewitt. Bad snap. And there's pressure on Hewitt. Knocked out of bounds at the 10 yard line. Won't get the first. Boy, Thomas Simmons took a shot at Hewitt. Why did he get out of bounds, Brian? You know, he's got to get low when he comes around that corner. Those defensive backs will wear him out. Love to take shots on quarterbacks early on. He's pressured there by Crawford. He starts seeing some daylight. He needs to get out of bounds, not put that shoulder down. So John Wales comes on for a 25-yard field goal attempt. Good snap, good hold. The kick is no good. John Wales wide to the left. 9-17 to play in the first quarter. Arizona State and Washington are scoreless, although Washington had the ball on his first possession at the Arizona State 44, moved it all the way down to the 10. A bad snap by Lynn Johnson to Hewitt on third down, and then a bad snap on the field goal attempt by Opo Seminovic. And it's a turnover to Arizona State, and we're scoreless. So it'll be first down for the Sun Devils. Jake Plummer, three-step drop complete. That's to Mustafa. It'll be short of the first down. It'll bring up second down and short. That's part of getting rid of the ball quickly. That's exactly what Jake needs to do to disrupt the timing of this blitzing. Washington. Look at the Washington linebackers, Devers, Nettles, Ink Aliaga, we've talked about, and Jerry Jensen. An active group. It'll be second down and one. Plummer again. Incomplete. A mix-up, obviously, on that play. Intended again for Mustafa. Good coverage by Greenlaw. Secondary for Washington is active. Greenlaw and Malloy. Malloy came over to help. Well, I tell you, he's a player. 100 tackles in 1994 for Malloy. He's been all conference, led the Pac-10 in tackles. Reminds me instinctively of Kenny Easley. It'll be third down and one. Everybody split wide. Jake the Snake takes it himself and gets the first down. So they'll move the chains. And he went over on that right side. You're talking about a lot of beef there. Pat Thompson, six foot, 312 pounds. Pat Thompson creating that push in there. And he gets the first. Aliaga guessed wrong, went right. Jake went the opposite side. Interesting, they split everybody wide, no backs, spread the defense thin. First down and 10. Plummer. Complete. This is Poole all the way down to the 35-yard line. There's the escapability of Plummer and the speed of Poole. Gain of 34. You've got to give Poole a lot of credit on this. Plummer back there. The blitz pressures him. He releases the ball downfield. David Ritchie with the pressure. Pool, we got to give him a lot of credit. Arizona State with first down in Washington territory. Hopkins, tough yardage. Again, Plummer has to audible. They're running the 46 defense, made famous by the Chicago Bears. The way you get yards in this defense, you've got to run it right up the middle. Who's waiting? Aliaga. Here are the numbers on Plummer. Two for four, 43 yards. He's got some speed at wide receiver this year. 
Isaiah Mustafa. Isaiah Mustafa is a transfer from Moore Community College. Second down and eight. On the quarterback throw. Palmer chased down by Aliaga at the 37. He was run out of bounds by. You're going to see the Washington defense shifting a lot just before the snap of the ball. Gray Ruggemer, the center, was pointing out his read at the very last minute. That's how fast the us offensive linemen are having to make these adjustments. Brian, I think I said the 37. It's down to the 32. It'll be third down and seven for the Sun Devils. If Arizona State could score first, it would be huge for their program. Pressure. First down to the tight end, Bush. Steve Bush hit by Greenlaw, but it's a gain of 15. They move the chains. Greenlaw came hard on this, Brian. He is the blitz-free rusher here. Great job avoiding the rush. Looks downfield. There's going to be an open man every time you send a defensive back in there. Jake found him. Hopkins cuts back. 15 to the 14-yard line. Chris Hopkins. Guy Malloy with the stop. But Arizona State with a good drive. One thing this does for sure, it buys them time. They're in control of the clock right now, which is exactly what they want them to do. Keep in mind, Arizona State was just three and eight last year. A lot of new players, freshmen, sophomores, and transfers. Second and six, Hopkins bangs his way to the 12. Jerry Jensen and Greenlow tattoo him there. Arizona State struggled through 700 injuries in 1994. Couldn't keep anybody healthy. That was a record. I've never heard of so many injuries in one season. But this offense is a lot better this year because it's experienced. 16 Letterman back, six starters. Face now with third down and four. Tenth play of the drive. Plummer to the corner. Arizona State on the board. You're seeing a superb job of reading the defense. On every single play. Okay. Great move by Poole. Akaika just wasn't ready for him. Terrific job of reading the blitz. Finding that blitzer coming out of that nine men front is a tough job to do. Robert Neese on to attempt the extra point. And it's good. In Husky Stadium, Arizona State surprising the Huskies, scoring first. Seven nothing is the score, Sun Devils. And on that drive, Jake Plummer passed for 69 of the 80 yards. He was four of six, 69 yards. Last year, he was only eight for 20. 90 yards, so he's off to a great start, Brian. You know, Tim, you've got to give some credit, too, to the running backs. What they're having to do is read those blitzing linebackers, stop that penetration, and they got some big backers rushing in there with Jensen and Aliaga. Rashan Shaheed comes into the ball game along with Terry Holloman to return for Washington. It'll be Brian Leinart who will kick off for the Sun Devils. You see the scoring play, scoring drive. 10 plays, 80 yards, took just over four minutes. Leinhardt's another walk-on. They were a little nervous about him yesterday. He had trouble. The turf is slick. We'll see on this kick. This is Sheehy. Breaks a tackle, gets a block. Look out. 
There is a flag. The kicker, Brian Leinart, had to come over and make the tackle, or he was gone. Thank you. you see our score here, Arizona State leading Washington 7 0 in the time remaining in the first quarter. There is a flag on the kickoff. We're waiting for that. Illegal block in the back. It'll be uh, first penalty of the game as Gordon Reese, our referee, makes that call. He takes the ball. He's running up field. He's looking for that opening because he recognizes there's a breakdown in the Sun Devils protection. Gets in the open. Could have been a touchdown. Lambright's going to spend some time on film on that one. I'll tell you that for sure. You just cannot clip or create any penalties. That's an easy one. The officials today are Gordon Reese, our referee, the umpire Steve Wilson. Bob Beal is the headlinesman. Roger McMinn is the line judge. Colin McDermott, the field judge. Jerry Gostellum is the side judge, and in the back judge is Dave Catala. As you look at their new mascot, a brand new mascot, a new look anyway. The dog looks less like a puppy than a more majestic dog now. What do they call that a Malamute? Brian? So it'll be first down Washington, backed up. Inside their own 10, and Neil banks his way off the right side for a couple of tough yards. Second down and seven. Hewitt again has pressure. Throws deep, wide open is tight end Cleland. Cleland fumbles and gets it back. The second fumble picks up even more. They said they wanted to throw the ball more. And a breakdown in protection. They're just kind of stumbling with their pass on them. Hewitt sits there, backs up. There's immediate pressure coming from the right side. Nice move. He sees the tight end free. Downfield running. Catches the ball. He's got to tuck that thing away. What a great luck of the bounce. Always staying with it. And the ball rolls out of bounds. Another penalty will move Washington back. Cleveland had his hands on it. Lost it out of bounds. What a game Mitchell Friedman is playing. He's the man that stripped it loose. You cannot advance the ball. Ball is dead at the fumble spot, so they'll move it all the way back to the 40-yard line. That's the old Dave Casper rule. That's right. Nonetheless, it was a 47-yard play for Washington, and it'll be first down at the 40. This is Neal. Another first down to the 28. When Neal gets out there with all that real estate, he really likes to move. That was an audible at the last second. Nice job by Neal. Has to break outside. That blitzing backer straight down the field. Then a hit. Friedman shows up on this one again. Boy, he got a terrific block by Freddie Coleman. Hewitt. Did he get it? They're saying it's complete. Now they rule it off. He got it off the turf. Boy, I tell you, Freddie Coleman made it look like a catch. But I thought it was low from the get-go and off the turf. See if he traps it, Brian. Hewitt takes the ball. Great play fake. This is exactly the move they use in the option, but he brings the ball up, throws a perfect spiral downfield. Just not enough on it. Got the short hop. You know, I've seen some great receivers cover that up. You never know. Sometimes you can pick those things off the ground. The ref will never see it. So it'll be second down and 10. Hewitt's starting to look sharp. Here's the quick out. Close to another first down goes Dave Janoski. Dave Janoski is down 
to the 12 or actually correction 17 yard line. Thomas Simmons with a tackle will be enough for the first. What you're seeing here is a rhythm now being established. Hewitt is settling down. They've got their mix back. Getting close to the end zone. Arizona State has to notch it up a bit on defense. First down, a fullback Thomas. Good line surge by Highfield, Johnson, Kessie. In a three. Big, strong offensive line for the Huskies. As you look at Richard Thomas. You know, when we were in the red zone down there, whenever we would run the ball inside, we knew we'd get maybe one or two yards. It was to set up an outside play, a play fake. Look for them to go to the end zone on this play. Florida State up early on Duke. Second down and seven. Hewart checks out of what he has. Goes to the air. Overthrown to Dave Janowski. Janowski moved from flanker to split end in the spring. Had 14 receptions last uh, two years as freshman and sophomore. And you know, when you ever you've got second down out there, you've got a chance to get the ball in the end zone. If it's not there, the quarterback is instructed to throw it over their head, out of bounds. No big deal. Third down. Two minutes and 24 seconds ago in the first quarter, ASU leads Washington seven to nothing. Third down and seven for Hewitt. To the corner, incomplete. Again intended for Janowski. Hewitt drops back again. Immediately, he looks to his one of his favorite receivers, Janowski. They practiced this play all summer long. I could sure, I can assure you. John Wales, 0 for 1 today, comes on to attempt the field goal here. This will be from 31 yards out. And something fishy in Seattle. Hey, celebrating your 88th anniversary, Pike's Place Market is one of the most colorful and crowded areas in the city. Fresh seafood, produce, flowers that share space with painting and homemade jewelry and other arts and crafts. Spectacular up here in the Emerald City. If you're looking for a good time, this is the place to come. Boy, we have had sensational Seattle weather the last several days. It's been just like this. Cloudless skies, a lot of sunshine. Everybody out on the water. If you're just joining us, Jake Plummer was four for five on a 69-yard drive, and he threw a 12-yard touchdown pass to Keith Poole. Arizona State scored first to make it 7-0. Washington just scored when John Wales hit a 31-yard field goal and made it 7-3. Through the end zone. John Wales again kicks it through the end zone for a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 20. But John Wales has been pumped up today. Okay. Nine plays, 77 yards. It took two minutes and 48 seconds. That's the Washington offense coming into its own. I think early on when they saw the problems trying to pass the ball and the fumbled snaps, they said we need to just stick with our game plan, and they did. First down and 10, Arizona State. Plumber's been sharp and hits his tight end Bush again. Ryan, it looks like part of the game plan for ASU is to get the tight end involved quickly. Um, when you're playing against the 46 defense, there's going to be a vacant spot right where they're vacating linebackers come. You'll also see Hopkins out in the flat. He's the dump off guy. That's how you beat this. Five yards at a time. Under two minutes to play in the first quarter. Tim Brandt, Brian Holloway with you from Husky Stadium. Glad to have you along. Second down and five. Hopkins, not enough for the first. He'll be about a yard and a half short. Again, Tim, that's what you're seeing. They need to hit that ball right up the middle when they're in the 46. The linebackers didn't come that time. You're not going to get a lot of yards. When they do, Katie, bar the door. 
Arizona State comes in with a huge package now with three tight ends. Baumgartner comes in along with Kendall to join Steve Bush. And Baumgartner is not there to catch a pass, I'll tell you that for sure. They need one. And I don't think they got it. Great play by Ika Malloy. They call him the toughest hitter on defense. Akaika going inside. He's scraping. Sees the great hit on him. He's even knocked out 300-pound offensive linemen. They've asked him a quiet walk-on, what you like to do best. He said, that's just hit people. It was for that reason the coaches felt he had to be in the lineup. Malloy was a walk-on. He's been the hardest hitter the last two years. So Lance Anderson now comes on to punt. You know, Tim, he's even played some outside linebacker at 200 pounds. Leon Neal waiting at his own 20. His first punt was 28 yards, Anderson was. Got it high but short. It gave Washington tremendous field position to start their first drive. And this will move them back even Before further. The snap, delay a game. Offense, five yards from the previous spot. Still fourth down. Those are the mistakes that Bruce Snyder says they can't afford to make in a game like this. Well, Tim, you just don't know. They could have been assigned to make that call if the defense showed them something different. I saw Washington practicing against a fake punt. They could have had that in last play. Again, it's a high punt, not particularly long. And Neal will fair catch this at the 37-yard line. So once again, Washington will have good field position. Could be the last play of the quarter. Hewitt drops, throws the out pattern, and it's complete. That'll stop the clock with six seconds to go in the first quarter. Freddie Coleman gets out of bounds after he gets the first. Washington in a hurry up mode. Lambright called Coleman the most improved wide receiver this spring. It looks like they're going to be going to him a lot today. Six seconds remain in the quarter. They've got Conwell out in the slot. Sun Devils show blitz. Neil Bubbles. Sun Devils have it. Bondarahi makes the recovery. And the Sun Devils will play the end of the first quarter. Neal fumbled. There was a scrum that Brian, everybody got after it before Bondra, he comes up with it. And there we go. Hewer tried to grab it first. Now everyone's diving the ball. Bondra, he's sitting there right up top. is able to snag it there right in the bottom of the pile. Patrick Kessie, the big right guard for Washington, was injured trying to get to the fumble. They carried him off. There's a look at Bondrahi who came up with it. That's the first Washington turnover of the game and great field position for ASU. This is Plummer. Touchdown, Sun Devils. Touchdown. Keith Poole with a second Arizona touchdown State. of the afternoon. 32 yards. That is nothing but absolute experience. Poole knew exactly how to bend the defensive back end to get himself free. You're going to see that they tripped up on the turf again. That is making a factor, but give them credit. Jake and him have worked on that all summer long. A well-timed pattern. How about the way Plummer bought time to get it out there? This is Robert Neese with the extra point attempt. He splits the sticks, and it's 14 to 3, Arizona State. Can you believe it? Plummer now 6 for 8, 107 yards, and two touchdowns. Poole with three catches. Let's take a look at Plummer. He's dropping back there, makes the fake, eludes the tackle, slight shift, doesn't run out of the pocket. Beautiful, well timed pass. Lays it right up there. It's as easy as that. Poole with three catches, Poole. 78 yards, and two touchdowns. Pushing off, Freezer there. See the trip. 
Pulls a guy averaging 21.6 yards a catch last year. He's been a factor right away. He's deliberate in his routes. Reminds me a lot of Blitnikoff. You talk about cap capitalizing on a fumble, scoring a touchdown the next play, and Bruce Snyder's got him going. You know, you could feel this with his club yesterday when they arrived here in Washington. Very confident, very loose, and everybody surrounding the team said this is a club that can score a lot of points. You know, I was with Jake this summer, and he had just got back after spending a week with Bill Walsh at his quarterback camp. He was the only young quarterback invited to stay the final day, and he talked about the dynamics and poise in the pocket. I think we're seeing an example of that. That will wear on the Washington defense today. Bruce Snyder told him that this was his team and he had to take his game to the next level so far here this afternoon he certainly has he looks more confident and comfortable than ever Rashad Sheehy and Terry Holloman are deep for Washington kicking off for Arizona State will be Brian Lionhart here's Brian This is Holloman. Trying to get outside. Good coverage by the Sun Devils. Had an opportunity yesterday to talk to Jim Lambright. We asked him how important turnovers would be in this game. Well, it's going to be critical that, uh, uh, that we turn the ball over for our offense, uh, that our defense establish some big play tendencies and... Uh, and that our offense uh, start off real steady. We, uh, we like uh, what uh, we think we can do on the ground uh, in running the ball, and we want that to do a good job of complementing Damon Hewitt's uh, abilities. So far, Washington's put it on the ground a couple of times, and it's Arizona State that has the turnover and turned it into a touchdown. 14 to 3, Arizona State. Leon Neal around the corner to the 21 yard line. Leon He's a good-looking running back, Derek Smith, with the tackle. This is Washington's bread and butter. Getting the ball outside, nice, easy sweep. The coach will use a play like this just to calm his players down, get them back in the groove, establish a rhythm. Now they got the ball on the right hash, the left hash, rather. Look for a big play with all that real estate they have. Arizona State expecting a pass, takes the linebacker Dragoo out. Lee Cole comes back in to go to the nickel. Here's Hewer to pass, it goes deep, has a man. Dessa sure breaks loose. Inside the 15, touchdown, Janowski, Washington. Dave Janowski with a touchdown. You got Dessa Sure out there. He doesn't even put up fake. He's going right now for the deep ball. Catches the ball running, stripped by Cole. Janowski, that's an experienced player. Follow the play all the way to the end, never giving up with leg drive, getting those defenders off him, putting it in the end zone. 79 yards. You're talking about individual performers lifting their team up right now. That's exactly what Huskies need to do. John Wales will try to put the Huskies 10th point on the board. Blocked. This game's had everything. Sean Sueda got a hand on it and blocked the extra point. So with 13.54 to go in the first half, it's still Arizona State 14, the Huskies 9. Arizona State has had the ball 12 plays. Here it is, third down and nine. Plummer to Mustafa. First down to the 30. And he is tagged by Reggie Reeser. 
A gain of 23. Plummer drops back, poised in the huddle, steps up, great escape. Sees Mustafa downfield, he's wide open, has some real estate, now he's turning up the sideline. There's his inexperience, you do not stand up on a hit like that. That is a collision, that takes receivers out quickly and inspires the defense. Mustafa now with four catches, 54 yards, first down Arizona State. Mix up, Plummer still makes positive yards. Gets about three. Jensen and Malloy stop him. Down in the red zone, this is absolutely where you cannot make mental errors and mistakes like that. The crowd is quiet. They're not in the game. Jake's going to have a talk in the huddle for sure. On 14 plays, 63 yards with five minutes and 27 seconds left. Say that's and because drive. they also had a 15-yard penalty in there. It's now second down and six. Oh, Plummer to his big tight end, Bush. And Bush puts it on the ground. Reggie Davis comes up with it. I saw Bush this summer. He was all excited about the season. I could tell he had not been a part of this offense in the first part of this game. Plummers goes back. The tight end has been a big part of the game. Bush gets the ball. He's a big, strong player. Working for extra yards, you can't do that. Those defense backs will strip it away. Davis hit him, stripped him, and recovered it. Number 23 says that's Husky football. So with 5-11 to go in the first half, Washington on first down goes to Neal, and Neal loses yardage. Crawford and Friedman. Boy, Brian, has Mitchell Friedman played a marvelous game here this afternoon? You know, when he came in yesterday, we were walking down the tunnel, and he said, we are bringing pain. That's what he likes to do, hit people. You know, he's said he was tired of hearing about lawyer Malone coaches had to tone him down in practice because they thought he might hurt some of his own teammates his nickname is fright night says he wants to put receivers to sleep he's got bad intentions and he's kind of a different guy as teammates say I'd say so second down and ten Hewitt goes deep Janowski can't hold on Janowski, he's out there wide. Little fake inside. Gets the defensive back's hips turned, and there's the ball over the shoulder. It's exactly where you want it, right on the sideline. Not bad coverage by Johnson, but that, too, is a catchable ball. Heward sees it. All timing. Lost it up there nice and deep, so the defensive player can't knock it out of the hands. Comes right down over that left shoulder. Just inches away. So it'll be third down and ten. Across the middle, incomplete. Did you and hear I think that Friedman, hit by Friedman? Friedman just put Cleveland down. <laughs> the defensive front for Arizona State are now in their full stunt package. Running games and tricks up there. Bernstein, Sueda, Amy and Crawford. Right night's putting on a horror show. Hewitt has missed his last four passes, so Washington will punt. The new snapper, Jerry Jensen. And he has problems with it. Jeff Prince's knee hit the ground at the six-yard line. Wow. A terrible mental mistake by Prince the punter. And, you know, the Husky players and the coaches said this turf will not make a difference today. You're seeing it on these snaps all day long. You cannot make those kind of mistakes. The ball rolls back there. Jensen putting too much pressure on trying to get that ball there. 
The knee touches the ground. It's down. Sun Devils ball. Washington has had trouble all day with the long snap. He just didn't get that height on it. And punters don't like new snappers coming in. It just sets all the timing off. First down, Hopkins loses a yard. Deep Devers with a stop. And the Huskies have all they can handle right now. 3.55 to play in the first half. Second and goal at the six. Stephen Hoffman says it's on Plummer. And I mean, he just tagged Pat Thompson, the right guard. And Pat Thompson is a fighter. He doesn't like defensive players pushing on him. I can tell you myself, when I get hit by defensive players jumping like that, I'm going to come back at him. And you know, anytime an offensive center comes in, Pat Thompson, you see him moving right there. He can't do that. Pat Thompson was a parade high school All-American, but they're dropping some science on him right now. Second down and 11, Sun Devils. Plummer to the corner. And complete, almost picked off. Scott Greenlaw almost got the INT. Mustafa looked like he was confused down there on the two-yard line. Plummer back, well-timed pattern. Mustafa just got confused. He needs to be in the corner of the end zone, exactly where Plummer's dropping it. Greenlaw got behind him. Greenlaw missed some practice time with a bad hamstring. He's a former walk-on. Here it's third down, third and goal at the 11. Plummer to the end zone, incomplete. Intended receiver was Lindsey Jackson. And you've got to give Juan Roque, Murphy, Thompson, and Gable some credit. They are giving him plenty of time to throw this ball. Jake is frustrated with himself. He's a perfectionist. So this will be a 28-yard attempt by Robert Meese. Jake Plummer is the holder. So if you're on defense, you better watch the fake. It's up. First and goal at the three for Washington. This is Thomas inside the three to the two-yard line. An interesting timeout by the Huskies. Had momentum. Had Arizona State's defense on its heels, and they take a timeout. Gain of just under two yards. 17 to 9, ASU leads Washington. Tim, another play I haven't seen is they run the option really well. They set up it, a fake option on this play. Arizona State stopped them. First half, Washington had 18 runs and 21 passes on this drive. Eight runs and one pass. They've gone back to the basics. The Huskies have gone back to power football. And here they have second down and goal at the one. Touchdown, Huskies! Washington Makes it a 17-15 game. Do you go for two? Jim Lambright says, yes. Let's tie it up now. Make the game even. And then let's play. This is Hewitt. They got the defense all spread out. Three-step drop. Quarterback draw. Doesn't make it. Good read and reaction by Pat Tillman, number 42. Quarterback. 
quarterback draw. The quarterback has a tendency to rush it. Let's take a look at the touchdown. Coming in motion there, the tight end. Boom! That's called a sucker wham. Clears the way up the middle. Tight end coming in. Over the top, Richard Thomas. That's who you want to go to. You take a look at it from the end zone. Nothing but bodies pushing bodies, getting that fullback. And you know, Kesey, number 54, is just really excited. I saw him jumping around earlier, pushing the defense around. Give a lot of credit to the offensive line. Sapp, 285 pounds. Highfield, the same. Johnson, 275. Kesey, 315 and battle 290. They dominated the line of scrimmage. 70 yards, 10 plays, just over five minutes. Nine runs, one pass, and Thomas scores on a one-yard plunge. This is Terry Battle to the 21. Tackle made by Jesse Binkley. 6.28 to play in the third quarter. Well, interesting strategy by Jim Lambright going for the two to even things up early in the game. Always a good strategy when you know even if the score doesn't change until the end of the ball game, a field goal can still win it. Yeah, I would have gone for the field goal. I don't like that two-point game. the extra point. Yeah. Yeah. It's all numbers. Two-point game, go for the two. Field goal can win it. This is Poole with the completion. So Jake Plummer does it again. They score, and Plummer brings him right up and picks up 25 yards, very composed and poised, to his favorite receiver, Keith Poole. has got Greenlaw on the coverage. Tim Plummer must have had at least five seconds of pass protection to get that perfect ball thrown. Keith Poole, five receptions now, 111 yards, and two touchdowns. Not much. That was Michael Martin. Jason Chork is out of the game now. He's the big defensive end for Washington. David Ritchie, number 97, is out of the game as well for Washington. They're cramping up, trying to get him some fluids and back in. Both are starters, but again, this heat taking its toll on the Huskies. about three yards short of the first down but interesting now to watch Bruce Snyder mix up his backs give Hopkins a break Michael Martin's in the game Terry Battles had some reps tackle made by Jerry Jensen but he's starting to use more players try to keep them fresh well I think this is their strategy the second half get more going on the ground to reopen up that offense again every time I see Plummer handing the football off I see him faking a bootleg Tim we are gonna see that for a big play uh, very soon. Third down and four for Arizona State. Backs on pressure. Scott Greenlaw with a sack. There's Greenlaw. He came off the corner real hard. Real tough for the quarterback. He'll never see that one. That's coming on his blind side. There is a receiver wide open. You can't vacate the defense like that without there being a touchdown. Jake just didn't see it. Lance Anderson to punt. Shanks it. They'll let this one hit at the 30, but he gets a Sun Devil bounce and goes out of bounds all the way down at the 16. So Anderson gets a break, a 38-yard punt. 4.19 to play in the third period, 17-15 Arizona State leads. This is Sheehy, out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, and this is a different Washington ball club than we saw in the first half. 
you know, that always worked for me as an offensive line. John Han and I love coming out, running the ball, getting the tempo established, and you know what it did? It settled the quarterbacks down and gave the running backs confidence, feeling like they had much greater control of the game. Well, and it's, I'm surprised they didn't come out that way in the first half. You know, Washington had great balance last year, 2,020 yards rushing and 1,943 yards passing. I mean, that's 51% run, 49% pass. That's as balanced as you can get. Yeah, Tim, they said they wanted to pass the ball, though. I think they're playing more Husky football right now. Here's Hewitt going to his fullback, Thomas. And Thomas will be a yard short of the first down. And this is the third time that we've seen that. This is a good play for them to get the ball down the field. Simmons and Bernstein make the tackle. Bernstein has a lot of height and a great wingspan. He's hard to throw over, and also he can chase you down from behind. Hewitt looking the other way, finds Thomas. His, and you know, if he shakes that tackle off, he can get a lot of real estate quick. So it'll bring up third down and one. Another great situation for Damon Hewitt. Hewitt takes another timeout. That's two timeouts this half. He has only one left. Oh, my. That's their second time at this end. It amazes me that a senior quarterback like Damon Hewitt would use two timeouts, two timeouts in the third period. It's a close game. They may need some of those later. You know, Tim, you've got to give the credit to Phil Snow by having a defense shifting around, showing them some things they haven't seen before. Mitchell Friedman has been a big factor this game, and that's bothering Heward. They're going to get him back in shotgun again. Mitchell Friedman got the start at strong safety today. Harlan Rashada was suspended by Bruce Clark. He was suspended last year, and he was susp suspended this past week and did not make the trip. Third down and one. I think Thomas got it. Again, you see the tight end in motion coming in what they called sucker wham. Bill Walsh made this play famous, sending that big tight end there, crashing down on the inside defensive lineman. Again, the tight end in motion, coming down to create push on the inside. Vander Ahi didn't have what it takes. You just can't stop a thousand pounds coming at you. Then a friendly push there by Cleveland. Ahi didn't like it. down goes to Sheehy who breaks outside. Sheehy's loose across midfield. Knocked out at the 32-yard line by Thomas Simmons. But the sophomore exploded on the corner. A gain of 45. Rashawn Sheehy got a great block from Fred Coleman and picks up 43 yards. Hewitt gets the ball back. Sheehy takes the ball, breaks outside where there's a lot of real estate. Let me show you outstanding football. Right there, Coleman sticking with the block. Five seconds, six seconds. Sheehy unleashes his speed, getting downfield. You credit Coleman for an outstanding play. Thomas gets two yards. That's it. Defense closed down. Ron McCook gets credit for the tackle. Sheehy going up the middle. There's nothing there. He bounces outside and downfield. Who's still at work? This is great football. Coleman blocking. Sheehy turns it loose. You've got that much speed in the open field. It's going to mean yardage. I noticed the offensive line is coming up there with much greater bounce. You can feel the momentum shift. Sheehy to the 25 yard line. The Huskies. Starting to throw the weight around. Jason Reynolds and Thomas Simmons stop him there, but Washington on the move. There's a player you get in the open field, and he'll cause you all kinds of problems. Tremendous quickness. Saw Albie Battle limping off the field. Defensive end for Arizona State. 
Sheehy's come on and made an impact. We talked about changing up for fresh legs in the backfield. Washington has done it successfully here, but there is a big play by Tillman who comes through and makes the tackle. Arizona State signals for a timeout. Pat Tillman is 5'11", 200 pounds. He's only a sophomore. Bruce Snyder loves this guy's toughness. Heward wants to give that ball to she. I've got to ask a question, and that is, you've given it to him three times. Now it's a perfect time to get the ball downfield on a play-action pass. Use all that real estate that you have out there, because the defense are going to be playing over-aggressive. Saturday afternoon. Mitchell Freeman has been all over the field today, now suffering some calf cramps. And that's a player you want on the field. Northwestern has upset Notre Dame 17 to 15. That is a final. They just announced that to the crowd here. And Fortney is now the quarterback for Washington. Here's Fortney on the option. And he's not going to make it, I don't believe, depending on the mark. He'll be close to a Washington first down. So Washington goes on fourth down with their running quarterback, Shane Fortney, and he'll be awfully close. Fortney comes in there. I told you earlier that I was surprised they didn't see the option. They brought it out. He did not pitch the ball to the running back, and he came up mighty close to the first down. Boy, he got a great mark of that football. They're going to have to measure it. He got a terrific mark. And I don't think this is the last time we're going to see Courtney. I don't think he, I didn't think he had made it, but this mark is going to be awfully close. They lined up for a field goal, then changed formation. And Fortney, the running quarterback, took over in a hurry. Arizona State surprised, and it caught him for a second, but they stopped Fortney. Now, Tim, this is what I don't understand. First down, Arizona State. So it'll be a first down for Arizona State, and that's a huge defensive play by the Sun Devils. Here's the chef. Fortney comes underneath center. He calls the direction of the option. You see Arizona State shifting outside. Sure enough, that's where they go. He doesn't pitch the ball. He takes it up in the middle, lowers his shoulder. And I'll tell you something else, Brian. That's an illegal formation. And there was a flag. Arizona State declined the penalty and takes over on downs. Forty-three seconds remain in the period. This is Hopkins back in the game now and barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Gain of one yard. See the time remaining in the third period. And keep in mind, Washington has take, taken two of its three timeouts already in this game. In this half. You know, one of Dan Cazetta's goals was to take Aliaga factor away from this defense. That's what they've done by his play selection. Plummer, five-step drop. He's got some problems. And goes down. Deke Devers, number 43, the captain of the defense, makes the tackle. Start the final 15 minutes from Husky Stadium in Seattle. Arizona State still leads. Here's Hopkins on the corner. <laughs> 14 54 playing this ball game. Here's the punt again. This is a high spiraling punt. Finally turns over, and they'll fair catch it by Coleman at the 35-yard line. 35-yard punt. Brian, let me ask you about Washington had a 45-yard field goal attempt to take the lead. Instead, they shift to an illegal formation, and they turn it over on downs. I guess there's no faith in Wales, who was one for three today. He was only 6 of 13 from that distance last year. 
but still a questionable call by Washington. You know, I'm surprised. That is a gutsy call. I expected to see it on the play before. They gave the ball to Shahi. That wasn't the time to do it. Here's the national championship flag from 1991. Washington won the Rose Bowl in 91 and 92. Proud tradition here. In hiatus the last two years because of sanctions, but now the cloud has been removed. Hewitt goes deep and overthrows Janowski. Again, good pressure by Crawford, the defensive end for Arizona State. He reminds me a lot of Shante Carver, who was the sack leader for the Sun Devils. Take a look at Crawford. Hewitt dropping back, fakes the play action, releases the ball, and catches a rib full of helmet. Crawford timed that perfectly. That hurts. Second down. So to bring up second down and 10 now for the Huskies. Hewitt to Neal. Not enough for the first. Stopped by Vonderahi and Crawford again. Out to the 42-yard line. Time will become a factor now with 14 and a half remaining in the game. And Arizona State still leading 17-15. Very patiently and methodically, they should work their way down the field. Vonderahi, very quick, aggressive, good instincts. Third down and three. Hewitt to the hook, incomplete. It was intended for Deshaun, for Deshaun, and Mitchell Freeman again knocked it loose. And if you look, Mitchell Freeman's got a. Deshaun goes up for the ball, and you know, having Freeman back there. You start hearing footsteps, you drop passes that you need to catch. And there's Freeman. He's got something wrong with his hand, but that doesn't keep him out of the game. He's played a terrific game this afternoon. Prince, three punts. He's only averaged 36 yards. This will be returned by Poole. Look out, still on his feet. Finally, they take him down. 13-41 to play in the ball game. Brian, take a look at the statistics. You can see Washington has really evened things out here in the second half. You know, if you look down, the statistic that jumps out is 148 yards rushing. But look down right at the bottom. Points off of turnovers. They've got seven. First down and 10 for Plummer at Arizona State. Three-step drop, throws it to Poole. And pulls out to the 29-yard line. That was a dart. Lawyer Malloy makes the tackle. When the Washington defense lined up and shifted, Plummer saw something right away he really liked. He checked off quickly. Here's Poole in the bottom of your screen. He finds the hole right in the middle. He tries to shake that, shakes Malloy off. He's going to be gone down the field. Poole now has six catches, 120 yards. He's having a big afternoon. Led the Pac-10 in yards per catch last year. Just over 20 yards a catch. Hopkins, not much. Stephen Hoffman with the tackle, and he got there in a hurry. Tim, what you're seeing is Arizona State is making the play call at the line of scrimmage based on the defense of the Huskies. They call this defense Washington's Purple Gang. Five of the top 22 defensive players started as walk-ons. They move the chains. That's only Arizona State. Second first down of this half. Plummer to throw him first down as a man wide open. It's pool, and he got one foot down. That's good. Pickup of 19. Get a 20 yard. Here's 
last pull out there. Fantastic pass protection. They keep the backs in, release them late in the flat. And there's Poole right down the sideline, finding that pocket. Take a look at Plummer. He's excited about that. And Juan Roque, the tackle in front of him, is just providing plenty of time. Michael Martin down to the 43-yard line as Michael Arizona Martin State continues carrier. to melt the clock. If time permits, stay tuned for the thrifty car rental post-game report featuring scores and highlights from across the country. And it has been an interesting day in college football. If you missed it, Northwestern has upset Notre Dame 17 to 15. And they ran that play behind big left tackle Ron Wilkins. Plummer again gives straight ahead, and this time the Sun Devils lose yardage. Martin nowhere to run. Boy, Reggie Davis made a nice play. He got some help from Malloy. Darius Jones. Aliaga was in on it. Aliaga, a Butkus Award candidate, outstanding player from Honolulu, majoring in sociology. Chris Hopkins goes out of the ball game. Poole goes wide. Ricky Boyer goes wide. Third down and three for Plummer. Underneath he goes to Hopkins. Hopkins has the first to the 32-yard line. Chris Hopkins, a gain of 10, and the Sun Devils are rolling. Plummer drops back there. What a great way. The offensive line let the defensive players collapse around the quarterback, opening up a lot of room for Hopkins to take the ball downfield. His dad watching today, Gail, the assistant athletic director at Arizona, has to be proud of his son, Chris. Offensive coordinators run that play for the sole purpose of getting a flag. Plummer drops back, finds his target, throws the ball down there deep. Needs to be over the defensive player. Mustafa goes up, reaching for the ball just right off his hand. Great defensive play by Greenlaw. That ball's catchable. Yeah, again. Greenlaw just gets that left hand in there at the last moment. You know, they've been going after Greenlaw all afternoon. Hopkins down to the 29-yard line. It'll bring up third down and long for Arizona State. Trying to get in field goal range for Robert Meese, the transfer from Bakersfield Community College, where he set the national record. A field goal would make it a five-point game, and that would be huge. Third down and eight. To pull, it's close. He's got the first. Boy, Plummer waited as long as he could. Deep Beavers had the pressure all over him. Poole, now eight catches, 149 yards. Poole's out there. He's breaking for open field. Right here, turns the timing pass thrown right on the money. And again, they're picking on Greenlaw. They're going after Greenlaw. And look at Plummer. Hewitt can't make this pass. Plummer can. Tremendous poise in the backfield. First down, straight ahead. Martin to the 15. They'll mark him at the 14. Arizona State, just 3-8 and eight last year. And Tim, more than anything else right now, Time is getting eaten up on the clock. This is huge. Keep in mind, the Sun Devils allowed 31 points a game last year, 440 yards. 
Here's the 11th play of this drive as they continue to melt the clock. It's down to 8.55. Martin picks up four. Again, they're running left. Big one, Roque. 312 pounds. Kyle Murphy, 290 pounds. That's a lot of weight pushing on Devers and Hoffman. Obviously, Arizona State would want a touchdown here, but even if they just come away with a field goal, it would take a touchdown by Washington to beat them. Tim, I'm going for the touchdown right now if I'm Arizona State. Third down and one. I think I'd get the first. They tried to, and they do. This is Martin. Now they can go for it. Now they've got four downs to go for the end zone. Arizona. And Martin gets the ball. Nice opening there. Lawyer comes up, make the hit. Doesn't matter. He got the four yards they needed. First down. The current drive, 12 plays, 73 yards, and they've eaten up five minutes and 40 seconds off the clock. First and goal at the seven. Martin to the five. Michael Martin, the ball carrier. Hoffman makes the tackle. So it's a pickup of two yards. It'll bring a second down and goal. This time from just inside the okay. five. Second down, goal to go with the Husky five. Look at Bruce Snyder. He's had a very young, thin roster the last couple of years. He likes this club a lot. Chorick with a big play on Martin. Arizona State came out the second half. Now the third quarter, mixing the ball, the pass and run. Martin trying to get in there. There's just no place to run. Chris Hopkins, the leading ball carrier, comes back into the ball game for Arizona State. He's now your tailback. Set behind Plummer. Third down and goal at the six. Plummer. Swing pass. Hopkins inside the five to the three. Stopped by Reggie Reeser. And that'll bring up fourth down, so bring on Robert Nice. Jake set up that play nicely, drawing the defense away. There just wasn't enough running room out there for Hopkins to make that cut. This will be a 20-yard attempt. He's one for one today. Good hold. And it's good. So Robert Neese pushes the lead to 20 to 15. 556 to play. Arizona State trying to pull the upset over Washington. 20 to 15 is our score. The Sun Devils lead. Here's a look at Brian Liner. He's kicking off to Rashan Sheehy and Leon Neal. There's Sheehy. This is Neal at the 20. Tap dances up to the 35-yard line, and that's where the Huskies will have it. Drive Arizona State. It took 16 plays to get down the field, 77 yards. Robert Macy with a 20-yard field goal. You know Washington enters the Arizona State game here today, having won nine consecutive home openers. That is being pressured right now. They've won 30 of their last 32 here at Husky Stadium. They don't lose very often. So it's first down, and this is Neal. Spins to the 42-yard line, and folks, he almost broke it. Simmons and Bondara, he make the tackle there. Patience and persistence. 
Neal, strong, bounces out, spins away from Sueda. He gets downfield. He gets past Vondrahi, and it is all the way to Pader. Second down and two. Hewitt has been thrown on this down this afternoon. Here it's Neal on the sweep, and he gets the first down. So they move the chains. This First is down the, Washington. One timeout left. 5:05 to play. Tim, this is the offense I think they're really comfortable with, and I think Hewitt is too. He'll hand the ball off a couple times, then you'll see him go back to the pass once he's established that rhythm. Neal stutter steps across midfield into Arizona State territory. Washington. In the first half, ran for only 51 yards. Here in the second half, they've run for 122 yards. A dramatic difference. Not only performance, but style. They've gone back to power football. And what it does, this type of football controls Arizona State's defense. That defensive line has to be much more aware. They can't just blister upfield. This is Sheehy. Hit almost immediately by Pat Tillman. Clock continues to move. Boy, the clock now becomes a factor. This is where Heward has to step up and show his leadership. Completing passes, getting the ball to the receiver, and executing. Watch Arizona State. You know they're going to be coming with a blitz on this play. Remember, Heward has used two of his three timeouts already. Third down and five. Hewitt's going to run for the first. To the 35-yard line before he's knocked out by Tillman. Big play by Damon Hewitt, the senior, who picks up 13 in the first down. There you go. Hewitt's dropped back. He's looking, looking, looking. Sees coverage. Feels pressure and finds the opening. There he's hustling downfield. First thing on his mind, get the first down and get out of bounds safely. By running out of bounds, stop the clock at 3.35. Gain of four. Neal's gotten a pretty good workout today. And Washington offensive line wants to remind Arizona's defense that we take control of the game. We own the running game. Good afternoon by Leon Neal. 19 carries, 97 yards. Probably will go over 100, and that'll be a pretty good start to the replacement of Napoleon Kaufman, who's going on to the NFL. Second down and seven. Sheehy on the halfback option pass. Wide open, Coleman. Touchdown, Washington. go for two then even a field goal could only tie it they are going for two David Heward stays on with this type of momentum I think it's the right thing to do gives confidence to the offense the out pattern Janowski oh. 2.53 to play this place is rocking. 
Browns with a 66-yard drive and seven plays. Here is the touchdown. You got an aggressive play action. Look, the lineman pulling. That sucks all the defensive players up. You don't need a pretty pass. That's all it takes to get in the end zone. Coleman was absolutely wide open. 30 yards from Sheehy to Coleman. Sheehy just lobs the ball up there. There is no one there. And then an extra point doesn't help you. Even if you hit it, a field goal can still tie you. you know, so they go for two. And going for two, they just got him turned around. Janowski put on a little move, got the defensive back, crisscross. Easy two points. Out of the end zone, this will be a touchback. So with two minutes and 53 seconds left to play, Arizona State trailing by three will have it first down at the 20. And how about Damon Hewitt? Comes up big on that drive, 66 yards and seven plays. Moved him like the veteran that he is. Bill Diedrich, the offensive coordinator, has to get credit for the mitts of those plays getting him down the field. First down, Sun Devils. Plummer with pressure. Complete the pool. First down, Arizona State. Plummer 19 for 30, 262 yards this afternoon. Once again, Deke Devers was loose and applied the pressure. When the crowd is in the game like this, making all that noise, it's really tough for the offensive players to pick up those guys rushing wide. They cannot hear the quarterback. Plummer is going to signals. They can't hear him, so he's used hand signals to call this play. Steps up, throws incomplete. Mustafa dropped it. Boy, Aliaga and Jensen were breathing down his neck. And Mustafa, remember, he's very inexperienced. Did not play football in high school, not until his second year of junior college. So he is inexperienced, and he dropped that catchable pass. Plummer calls for maximum protection. Keeps his back. Hopkins can't stop the pressure, and he gets hit late there in the knees. I think now he's got to be looking for pool. Pools had nine catches, 162 yards. They haven't been able to stop him yet. Second down and 10. Plummer sacked by Jensen. That's the fourth sack of the afternoon on Plummer. Arizona State takes a timeout with 2.07 to play. Two oh seven to play. Third down and 16 for Arizona State. Plummer's going to say he can't hear. He can do that. That's legal, and it's also smart. Four sacks on Plummer today, and what a time for Jensen to get his first. Here's Jensen. Uses right hands to elude Woods there. Woods just kept his head down. Got Plummer hit there. They need 16. <laughs> Stephen Hoffman. The fifth sack of the afternoon. Plummer calls timeout with 152 to play. Washington leads Arizona State 23 to 20. 
152 to play in the ball game. Arizona State has just taken a timeout. And it's fourth down and 22. And Tim, the intangible player showed up, the crowd. Jake having to get back there to make the call. He's shuffling around the pocket. Nice protection. Spills out there. Hoffman just catches a toe and drops it. Plummer. Washington has sacked Plummer this afternoon five times. And two of those have come in the last 40 seconds. Arizona State has led this game throughout. Washington has just scored in the last minute and a half. And they lead by three. More than 70,000 here trying to help Jim Lambright and the Washington Huskies. It's fourth down and 22 for Plummer and Arizona State. Pressure. Plummer steps up. And again, it was intended for Mustafa. And again, we'll tell you how inexperienced he is. He hasn't played football until the last two years, but there is a flag down, and it'll be against the Sun Devils. So that should just about do it. Tim Brant and Brian Holloway with you in the Great Northwest, and this has been a spectacular afternoon, weather-wise and football-wise. Jim Lambright, they call him the Prince of Purple, took over for Don James. He's called this a new beginning. Devers gets in there. Juan Roque can't contain him. Flushes Plummer. And you know what? Mustafa hurt footsteps of Greenlaw. The Pac-10 conference sanctions that banned the Washington Huskies from postseason bowls for two seasons are now gone for the first time in Jim Lambright's three years. He has the incentive of earning a bowl game. And his players have responded here in the second half. Folks, it was all Arizona State in the first half. Plummer hit Poole for a 12-yard touchdown pass to take the early lead. Then he hit Poole again on a 32-yard pass. It was 14-3, Arizona State. Finally, Hewitt hit a long touchdown pass. It was 17-9, Arizona State at the half. And then this half, Washington State... And that guy right there, Damon Hewitt have come on strong, or Washington rather, and Damon Hewitt have come on strong. Leon Neal, the man who has replaced Napoleon Kaufman at tailback, has just gone over 100 yards, and here he is again to the 15 to the 14-yard line. He has 21 carries, 105 yards today. For the Husky offense, the biggest question was a tailback coming in. Napoleon Kaufman, as you know, went to the National Football League, rewrote the record books over the last four years here, and Leon Neal has stepped up and gone over 100 yards in the first game of his senior season. Again, he headed out there to the wide field. There was Coleman doing his job blocking. Even though the game's won in their minds, that kind of effort is important. Washington does not lose here very often for the Huskies. This will be their 10th straight home opening win. Also, if there is such a thing on opening day, this was a must win for Washington. A conference game, and they have USC, Notre Dame, Ohio State, UCLA, and Arizona all yet to come. So that's the end of the ball game. Washington pulls it out, beating Arizona State 23.